Hey everybody, I'm Elena and sorry if I still am sounding a little bit low-key and whatnot but I'm still recovering from the <laughs> flu that I got and whatnot and yeah but this is the, the favorite products that I've been loving throughout this month of July and this and since summer kicked in I changed my routine I, I guess like pretty much everyone else right and uh, I don't know, without further ado, I'm gonna show you without res any reason or rhyme uh, the products that I've been loving just as I pull them out of here. So, first things first, uh, I will show you a little bit of skincare that I've been loving. First, I will show you this a La, La Roche Posay Anti Shine 30 SPF uh, cream, which is really good for the face, for the sun, and to avoid sun damage and whatnot. Plus, it's anti-shine, so it leaves a matte finish, so you can really apply a, any kind of foundation and leave it on or leave it on its own, and you don't look like a shiny disco ball like we all tend to do when we apply SPF because it really has this reflect effect, and this doesn't. This dries matte, and so I've been really loving this one. Next. Uh, as for the eyes, I ha I am trying lots of stuff, you know, I'm dealing with these eye bags and whatnot. And I've been trying this cellar, cell, Cellular Perfect Skin uh, Eye Contour. And I've been liking this. I have been gravitating towards this every single day. In the morning, in the nighttime routine, I use another product. But yeah, it has a little bit of color. Here, I'll show you has this rubber rubberized tip and it is like this color that you know I thought it was more instant and more red radiant and whatnot and it's the color but it really helps on days that you are not wearing wake makeup such as me this month that I've been really at home and not feeling good so makeup hasn't been my per priority this month so Next, I decided to give it a try to this Paula's Choice Clinical 1% Retinol Treatment. Here it is. And I've been liking this so far. I, I ordered the travel size because I wanted to give it a try because it's a big commitment. It's, it's quite expensive, the big one. And so far, so good. So I guess when I have a little bit of money saved up, I will order this, you know, to prevent... Uh, wrinkles and it also helps with minimal acne and it has a lot of properties so yeah I've been using this at night time every other night. Next uh, I will throw in my favorite perfume that it's even more, my more, most favorite it's my signature perfume let's just say that but in the summertime I'm really digging this in and I thought you might want to give it a whiff if you happen to to pass by it or whatever if you go at a drugstore or whatnot and it's this C by Chloe and to me it smells like pomegranate and citrusy but it's a little bit sweet but fresh at the same time and yeah I use this all year long but in the summertime I, I think I would throw this in just to give an idea. Next uh, for the lips I've been going for this uh, when I've not been using red lips and more uh, statement lips and whatnot, I've been going to this more nude lip trend or not trend, this nude lip look that I've been loving a lot. So I happened to come across at the drugstore with this Essence XXL, XXXL Long Lasting Velvet Matte, it's a mouthful, soft nude lip gloss. and. Yeah, I mean, it's nowhere near the Kat Von D ones that I have or whatnot, but I am, it's a color that I am actually wearing today, and I am really liking it when you're on the go and you really want to throw something nude. Um, you know, it's really complimentary for my skin tone and whatnot. This has been really working. It's not long lasting by any means, but the color, I think it's really uh, good and it's matte, but it still has this sheen so it doesn't look chapped dry if you know what I'm saying. Next uh, super favorite lip combo that I came across, you know, 
trying my lipsticks and whatnot here at home. Uh, it's this, using this lip liner, Couture by L'Oreal. This one is in Bois de Rose. <laughs> I am butchering the name. So um, I was gonna swatch this for you, but anyway. So I applied this as a um, lip liner. I fill, the, fill in the inner third of my lips, not outer third, sorry, with this. Uh, just to give a little bit of pout. Then I follow with this um, tempting, tempting Lilac from L'Oreal, which is this one. And I go all over my lips with this, even all over on top of the lip liner. And then I top it off with this nude, any nude shade, this really nude shade that it's called Wearing Only a Smile from Essence, which is this one. And this I applied it just on the center of my upper and lower lip. And I have been really loving this lip combo, but you know, it's not as practical as just taking the lip gloss and you grab and go. So this is really for when you're at home and you sit down and you can apply it and whatnot. Next, as for foundation, what I've been loving a lot and I really got this with the purpose of using it on the summertime and I think I'm getting to the color that I am matching my face. I'm still lighter, but yeah, so it's working. The girl told me that I should get a darker shade for the summertime and whatnot. It's the original Bare Minerals foundation. You, you have seen it many, many times. So it's really... No muss, no fuss for the summertime. You grab this with the brush and boom, you're good to go. You know, it's really lightweight. Of course, it's not full coverage and it's not going to give the perfection, but it's re it really gives you this something different, you know. It evens out its skin tone, it mattifies, but still has this beautiful sheen, not like the matte one and whatnot. So I find this is helpful for an everyday, as I said, no muss, no fuss look. And on... <laughs> On top of that, not on, before that, what I tend to apply is this MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. Mine happens to be in NW20. And I prime my face and I apply concealer on the places that I want extra coverage because, you know, my, you know, my problems, eye bags, dark circles, whatnot, and I apply this, then I go on top with the Bare Minerals. I, I should give it a try to the Bare Minerals concealer, but I up till I go to the other city where there's the Sephora, I cannot reach it in here, and so in the meantime I'm using this and I am loving it. So And it's an old one that I rescued, I have to say, the, the Studio Finish, and I forgot how much I love this. You know, like I think we all branched out from MAC and MAC has good products, <laughs> you know, it was hyped for a reason and here I am still using the MAC products and yeah, loving them. Next for the brows, I've been using this combo as well and this is this eyebrow pencil, you can see it's really beat up, from L'Oreal, it's Le Sourcil and this is color golden brown comes with a spoolie on the other end. And then, you know the benefit that has la launched this new uh, range of eyebrow products, but still it's the Make Me Brow, it's called Make Me Brow, I think, that it had a similar package to this, but now it's all, um, it's all, you know, metallic and whatnot. Well, I, ha I have this, uh, let, let me reach for it if I can find it. I decided to give it a try to Rimmel Brow this way, but you guys, watch this. Okay? Like, watch the difference of the size. So, this is too big, way too big for my eyebrows, at least. The color is better, you know, this is... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I hit you. This is darker, but this, this is really good, and this would be a pair... Uh, a, this is the... I didn't say what the name. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. And this is a really good dupe for the Benefit uh, Brow Gel. And I've been using this Essence Make Me Brow that is 
every bit as good as the Essence one and I think I, I see Essence as a benefit one and I think it's a perfect dupe even the you know it's the same size same application uh, the price you can you cannot compete with that and if you happen to come across this I would say you can give it a try and you will not feel uh, let down by it Moving on, for as for the lower lashes, I've, I have been finding myself gravitating towards the Clump Defy from Max Factor, which would be the Clump Crusher from CoverGirl, I think it is. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to say whether of this product other than uh, it doesn't clump, it's good. I just apply one very thin coat of it because I have pretty long lashes on their on their own so yeah there's that so it's it really just gives the most subtle it just gives the most subtle oomph if you know what I'm saying so it's not like I left them bare and whatnot so I applied this and I'm good as for the eyes uh, I've been <laughs> the days that I've been able to wear makeup I've been really and not wearing I've been really going retro 50s going with this 50s vibes and what vibes sorry can I speak today and whatnot and uh, I I love winged eyeliner and I love my nude eyelid so I have been gravitating towards this uh, even though it's, it looks pretty new but it's this walking on eggshells from when wild and yeah it's it's a good trio and you know, I have many nudes, you know, the Kat Von D, the, the chocolate, the naked, the, you name it. But I've been grabbing this a lot because it's so convenient, you know, you know, you can really pack it when you go traveling and whatnot and you have your basic shape, basic shades in here and there's that. And uh, last but not least, <laughs> as for blush, I've been reaching a lot for this blush that I'm wearing today that I think it's really summery and beautiful. And it's this 163 lip blush from L'Oreal and it's called Nectarine. And it's a really beautiful peachy blush that it really gives you this more flushed look. And it's not the classical pink that I'm reaching and it really complements my skin too. So I think this is really complementary for darker skin tones when you are tanner or whatnot, but it's really summery. And for us paler <laughs> girls when we're not rocking um, reds or pinks on our lips. I think this really works really well, you know, to give change to not wearing the same kind of shade all the time and whatnot. So, there's that. Here are the products that I've been loving for the month of June. I cannot believe it's June already. I know it's such a cliche saying that, but you know, next thing you know it's Christmas time what's life anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and leave a comment I really love to hear about you guys and see you in the next one bye